lots of choices here. I think we'll have to go for the guy with the mace. G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Assorted Solo Plays, and I am your host, Vastima. Today, we're back with Overhype Studios Battle Brothers, a mercenary company simulator with turn-based tactical combat set in a low magic fantasy world. More information can be found below the description. Last time around, we accepted a contract with House Krieger to patrol their roads and defeated a group of timid bandits for the small price of Harold's straw hat. Now, let's get back to it. So, we're continuing on with our assignment for House Krieger to patrol the roads, and we've ran into another band of bandit thugs. This time, we'll be engaging them at night. Wow, spooky. Okie dokie. Well, there's not much chance in hell that Alf Gear is going to hit, I must say. Okay. Well, not much visibility either. For the moment, we'll just wait turn on everybody, see if the enemy comes to me, and he is going to come to me. Interesting. Let's continue waiting for now. Here they come. So, seven enemies yet again. Looks like one guy with an axe, and let's turn the map the other way around. One guy with a two-handed axe, a guy with a mace and a spear, and the rest seem to be an assortment of clubs, uh, long knives, and oh, this guy's got a pick, so got to watch for him so he doesn't destroy my armor. And... <laughs> If you're watching this series for the first time, you should know I have a definite love-hate relationship with Alf Gear. He loves to miss all his shots, and I bloody well hate him for it. So, let's see how he can do at night time. I don't think he has much chance. Yep, 13% chance to hit with his quick shot, with his aim shot... Uh, to hit the enemy front line, 24, 22, can't even hit this guy. Well, I could maximise his chances, but instead I think I'll just fire twice at this guy. Ooh, <laughs> he almost <laughs> missed his intended target, hit the guy behind, almost killed the poor bastard. Well, I shouldn't say it. Poor bastard, I, I, it is my intention after all to wipe out all these poor bastards in quotes. <laughs> my god, all the times I've played this game and Alf Gear has just straight missed every shot. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, this is ludicrous. Uh, two shots in a row with low chance to hit. Oh well, just goes to show. Okay, after you end your turn. Now, here's a big question. Do we go into Spear Wall and let them all come to us or not? Let's just see where Ernst is. Okay, he's right in the middle there. Um, which is suboptimal, to say the least. The biggest problem is this guy with the axe back here, but I think I will go for the spear wall. Um, simply, simply because 
if we move up, I'm still not going to be able to get to this axe guy anyway. So if he was in the front line, I'd probably think differently about it. So for the moment, let's just pop up spear wall. And I think what I'll end up doing is I'll curl Harold. Well, actually, no, I won't curl him around. I'll just move him down one. But everybody else... I feel, and I might put Emmerich up one as well, but everybody else I think can just stay where they are. Okay. Oh, and again, I could always open up a spot for Ernst. Nah, no. Let's not overcomplicate things. Um, all I can really do is end my turn with the back ranks at the moment. Emmerich, just in case, I'll move you up one. And Harold, I'll move you down one. Okay. And nothing else can do right now. Oh, I could move him. But actually, I think I'll keep him right there. Damn. Ah, much better. Keep him back. Ah, oh, excellent work. Who is that? Oh, that's Arnold up there. Okay. Um... I might just wait with the Almar for the moment, even though there's already two targets to pick from. I just want to see if this Axe guy ends up in that hole, but he, he's not. Looks like a bandit thug he is. Okay. So, Henrik, you can wait if this guy comes around the tree. Okay. I might as well attack with Adalbert. Um, Adalbert, you can attack this guy. Ah, oh, excellent. Very well done. Ah, here he is down here. Okay. Raymar. With my pike. Okay, one of my best guys here. Do I want to kill this guy? Wounded to this guy who's wounded. Um, yeah, I might go for this guy. And I missed anyway. Damn. Ernst. Split man attack on. 59. There's 49. 59. Oh, lots of damage there. Okay. Afki. <laughs> Here we go. Quick shot. Oh, usually you can shoot through your front rank, but for some reason it's... Or is it aim shot? No. Well, I am not risking it. I don't know if it's night time or what the problem is, but... Yeah, um... Not risking shooting one of my guys in the back of the head. Okay, 5% chance. Didn't think he could... Pull it up three times in a row, but it was worth a shot. Okay, now, Arnold. Um, let's see if we can finish one of these guys off. 83. Wounded, wounded. They've both got about the same amount of hit points, so... Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm going to go into shield wall. Let's not risk it. We're still facing a lot of firepower at the moment. Mm. Okay. Um, nothing much we can do. If I move away, obviously he'll get a strike at me from behind. So let's just attack him. Okay. Good solid hit. There goes his armour. Um, again, 
this I'm facing so much significant opposition at this point I think I'll shield wall up okay now Arnold here's a big question this guy is almost dead but this guy has a pike I'm gonna have to go for the guy with the pike even though it's the lesser chance <laughs> Ah, oh, near death again. Nah, shield wall. Let's not risk it. Okay, Torhelm. Um, let's attack the guy with the mace because he has a chance of stunning us. So. Near death, God. I'm getting a lot of these guys down to just a piddly amount of hit points. I'm starting to wonder if I should have um, shield walled after all. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. So let's move Emmerich down here and attack the, this bandit thug. Excellent, finished him off. Good work. Okay, it's Andy's turn. And now, Harold. I think... I think I'm going to stay in Spearwall, actually. With him. Oh, that's right. Hjalmar's got his turn. So... Ooh, lots of choices here. I think we'll have to go for the guy with the mace. Yes! Excellent work here, Amar. You very rarely let me down, mate. Good work indeed. And Henrik, I'll move him up. So... Just in case um, this guy with the axe tries to flank around next turn and ends up down here. So I won't be out of range. Okay. Elf gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to risk anything with Elf gear. <laughs> uh, okay. Adalbert. Which enemy's got his go next? Bandit thug. This guy down here, which is out of my range anyway. Um, so, got this guy, 86, 66, okay, well, I might go for this guy then, excellent work, another guy down, these guys are close to breaking, oof, another one down. And we get a split man on this bandit thug. Oh, excellent. Damn. Three turns, three kills. Okay. Uh, wait turn. Wait turn with the armor. Hmm. Go into Spear Wall with Emmerich. Let's try and... F this guy is coming down here. Damn. I wonder if he's going to just run off. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, okay, this guy's got his go next. I wouldn't be half surprised if he tried to run off as well. And I don't think I'm really in the mood to let them run off. So, at the risk of this getting Bertolf horribly killed, I'm going to move him up here. Let's make him work for this if he wants to run away. Nope, doesn't want to run away, but he missed me. 
which is good. Okay, we might move on off to here then and attack this guy. Oh, good solid hit. Move Arnold here. Another good solid hit. And Torhelm. He's dead. So we've only got the big axe guy now. Hmm. I'm really not keen on chasing him. So. Hmm. These guys with these axes, as if you've watched this series before and seen Ernst do it, they can just slice you right down the middle from top of your head all the way down to your crotch. Um, so forcing him to fight when I don't actually have to, but at the same time, he's worth money. Of course, he's not worth the recruitment cost I'm going to have to pay if I manage to get Harold killed doing this, but at the same time... Ah, uh, what the hell. Let's go after him. Let's stab him in the back. Excellent. Oh, damn. Almost killed him. Near death. And, turn. Uh, Sham Henrik can't, um... Get a hit from there, but it's all right. And Hyoma. Ah, oh, there's not much point bringing a second guy down. Ah, oh, I will. Okay, off gear. Are you telling me these little bushes in the way? Dense sharp shrubbery that blocks line of sight. Yep. You are. Damn. Well, if I move to there, he won't have enough action points to uh, get to me and attack, so that should be safe. And he missed. I'm only bringing these guys down out of force of habit. I don't think one axe guy that's near death is going to wipe out all of my guys, but, you know, just to be on the safe side. Oh, here we go. Henrik got his go. Finish this guy off and it's all done. <laughs> oh, that guy had the tiniest amount of health left. <laughs> and he lived through that. Uh, Helma, fantastic. Would you please finish this sorry sod off? In fact, you can move up one. And there we go. Yes, done. Uh, wait, was that a perfect run? Not even a single bit of health lost. Oh my. Fantastic. So, uh, the final tally was Hialmar got two, Adelbert got one, Torhelm got one, Emmerich got a kill, uh, Raymar got a kill, and Ernst got a kill. And Alfgear, for once, did pretty good. 75 points of damage. So, not bad. Okay, I think we'll leave it there for today. Like, comment, and subscribe below. And as always, I am your host, Vastima. Have a good one.